Is America in the midst of a grocery store showdown? The country's two biggest retailers, Amazon and Walmart, doing everything possible to eat into the other's customer base. Amazon jumping into the brick and mortar grocery game, spending $13 billion five years ago to buy Whole Foods. At the same time, Walmart has been growing its e-commerce business beyond groceries into general merchandise to keep up with Amazon Prime. Makes sense. Which company's winning? Let's bring in News Nation business contributor Gary B. Smith to size them up. Okay, Gary, a brand new piece in The Economist claims that Walmart is trouncing Amazon. I mean, Walmart's the largest employer in the U.S. Was there ever a question? No, I mean, you know, I, look, I'm a Walmart shopper. You may be a Walmart shopper. I just went I'm last week. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, I think here, I, I think they have four big advantages over Amazon, and I would say one surprise. One is the most obvious. I, most, 99% of the country, I bet, is always closer to a Walmart than they are to a Whole Foods or that Amazon Fresh, which I've never seen an Amazon Fresh. So that, you know, location is the really the big factor in, in supermarket shopping. The other thing that Walmart has a huge advantage over certainly a Whole Foods is they have the general merchandise there. You can go, the other day we bought paint and, and then we bought groceries. You're not gonna get that at a Whole Foods. The other thing is the amount of uh, SKUs, they call it in the supermarket business, the amount of merchandise in a, a Walmart, just the grocery section is far larger than in a, a Whole Foods. The other big advantage, of course, as most people know, Walmart is so much cheaper than uh, a Whole Foods. Oh I my always gosh. just Yeah, I mean it, it, it's it's not even close. It's now, cheaper than every store. Whole Foods. What what's that? It's cheaper than every store. I mean when you go to Whole yeah, Foods but, <laughs> or you go to, yeah. you know, a, a local Whole chain. Foods, Whole Foods is like the Tiffany of grocery stores. But you know, here's one surprise I don't think most people realize. In the the fresh food section of uh, a Walmart, the deli section, if you will. Some of the food is really good there. My, my tip to everyone is they have a flatbread pizza in the deli section at Walmart. <laughs> Gary, Generally, am I talking to you about than, pizza right now? <laughs> it's less, I know, you're in the land of pizza, but for less than $5, that flatbread pizza is It's gonna change your fantastic. life. <laughs> Really okay, so let's make sure this isn't a commercial for Walmart, even though I can hear your enthusiasm. No. What is Amazon doing that Walmart won't or can't? Well, here's the thing, that Amazon is the absolute best at learning and then doing it better. Look at, you know, they, they of course, they got their whole start in online books and completely swamped everyone else after a few years. They are the masters of technology now. Walmart, of course, was the, at the forefront of technology, so maybe it's a wash there. But as far as innovative things, mm -hmm. if they can bring the same kind of um, thinking that they did to online, to bricks and mortar, of course, that's Walmart's mainstay. So, yeah, you're right, not a, a Walmart advertisement, if you will. They still have a significant advantage there. They think intuitively. I mean, Bezos came up with some nutty ideas for what groceries should be that's like. That's what billionaires do. Out. They come up with nutty ideas. But the ideas. whole point is he keeps coming up with those innovative ideas that it only takes one or two to catch on. So far, though, it's, you know, it's like Muhammad Ali versus Jerry Quarry, not to date myself, of course. Maybe that's from that's the That's okay. You can date yourself. That's fine. We accept Thank all you. ages here. Yeah, absolutely. Walmart's 4,700 locations certainly do help, too. Their dominance yeah. in rural areas, does that show that in spite of big city populations, uh, parts of the country really create the demand uh, for the entire nation. I mean, Amazon is, and Whole Foods are just not going to be in certain neighborhoods. Oh, yeah, exactly. You know, I, 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 I think when Walmart first became Walmart, you know, outside of what Bentonville, uh, Arkansas, you hardly knew it. And then all of a sudden it expanded, you know, in, and, you know, of course, Walmart's making great inroads into those urban areas. We're in Jacksonville here and we probably have two Walmarts within you know, six or seven miles, the nearest Whole Foods is 10 miles. You know, Amazon's growing the other way, mostly urban areas and growing out into the areas. Where can a, can a uh, uh, Whole Foods catch on in Bentonville, Arkansas? Yeah, I suppose there, you know, there's always a market for 
you know, great and fresh produce. Yeah, but you're going to have to spend uh, a lot of money, a lot more money than yeah. Wally World. Thank you so much yeah. to uh, Gary B. Smith for being with us. We appreciate it. And we'll check out that flatbread pizza that you were talking about. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.